Okay, so problem number seven in the review. Um, key thing to keep in mind here is what type of problem are we doing? Um, what we're saying here is how many of each type of burger should they be made so the family uses all of the materials. Therefore, this is not a linear programming problem where it's less than or equal to. No, 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 no. It's an equals to. So therefore, we are solving a system of equations. So here we go. First things first, always define your variables. So we're talking about how many of each type of burger. So we have single burgers. So S is the number of single burgers we're going to make. Um, then we'll have cheeseburgers, so again, number of cheeseburgers. Then last but not least, we have our double burgers, and so on and so forth. So, let's write some equations. Now remember, each equation should relate somehow to singles, cheeseburgers, and doubles. It has to have the three variables related. You're not going to write one, one equation for single burgers, one equation for cheeseburgers, one equation for double burgers. So, here we go. Let's see. We know... They're going to all need buns, so let's write a bun equation. Okay, so I know a single burger is going to use one bun. I know a cheeseburger is going to use one bun, and I know a double burger is going to use one bun. So now the question is, is how many buns do we have? Well, we see that buns come in packs of eight, and the family bought 13 packs of buns, so therefore 13 times eight will give us our number of buns, which is 104. So there's our bun equation. Then we need our cheese equation. Now, single burgers use no cheese, so zero S's. A cheeseburger uses one slice, and a double burger, if I remember correctly, does use two slices. Um, yeah, a double burger requires two ground beef patties and two slices of cheese. There we go. And one bun. So there's our equation. So now the question is, is how much cheese do we need? Let me clean off some of this stuff. All right, so how much cheese is there? Um, and we, let's see, the family bought, or cheese come in packs of 24, and they bought three packs of cheese, so three times 24, that makes 72 slices of cheese. So we're almost done, we just need one more equation, I'll just write it down here actually, I'll sneak it in down below. Um, so our next equation, excuse me, would be for the patties. So how many patties does each hamburger use? Well, a single uses one, a cheeseburger uses one, and a double uses two. Oh, just finished making the other video. There we go. A, du a double burger uses two. So now the question is, is how many double burger patties, or how many patties were there in total? So again, patties come in packs of 12. And how many did they purchase? The family purchased 11. So 12 times 11 is 132, I do believe. So now we have our three equations. Um, and the problem doesn't tell you how to do it. You don't have, you know, how to solve it. So you are not required to do gauss strode on by hand. Just throw all these things in a matrix and let it do reduced row echelon form for you. Um, so we're going to have a matrix. Remember, your variables are the columns. So maybe we'll call it singles, cheeseburgers, doubles, and then what we're equaling. So therefore, it'd be a 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 4, 0, 1, 272 and 112132. So I just on your test all you'd need to do is write that down, right right next to it. I did was reduce threshold on form and then tell me what the calculator spits out. And you will end up with you will end up with uh, obviously 11100000 one, 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 zero, 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 zero. Uh, and we end up with 60 16 28 and don't forget to tell me what these things mean this means I have I'm gonna make that's a 60 60 singles 16 cheeseburgers and 28 doubles and that will take care of all of my materials okie dokie thank you very much